Hi everyone, welcome again to Indian Story Read Along. Today, we're going to read a book called Let's Celebrate Holi. And many of you already know Holi is the Festival of Colors. And it happens around every March or April and celebrated all over India and around the world to celebrate the coming of spring. So let's get started. So there we see a little girl. She says, hi, I'm Maya. I love to go on fun adventures in India with my brother, Neil. And then the boy says, hi, I'm Neil. We live in Chicago. We just landed in India to celebrate Holi. Come join us. And at the bottom, who's there? It's a little squirrel. Hi, I am Chintu, the squirrel. I love to join my friends on their trips. So there they are, they just landed in India. This is a map of India. India is a big country. It has many states, languages, festivals, and dances. Holi is one of the most fun festivals of India. It's called the Festival of Colors. It's celebrated all over India in many different ways. Maya, Neil, and Chintu meet their cousin Ameya in India. A sister or girl cousin in India is called Didi, at least in Hindi it's called Didi. Ameya lives in a big city with tall buildings. I am very excited that you came to visit me, Ameya says. Holi starts tomorrow. You're going to love this holiday. We love every Indian holiday, Neil says. Tell us about Holi, Didi. So there they are, and they just met Amea. The story of Holi. Once upon a time, an evil king ruled in India. He thought he was the most powerful king of the world. He wanted everyone to pray to him. A brave little boy named Prahalad wasn't afraid, though. He refused to pray to this evil king. The king tried to scare Prahalad with mean words, but it did not work. Prahalad still refused to pray to him. The king got very angry. He thought of a way to hurt Prahalad. The, sisters, the king's sister, Holika, had a magical power. She could sit in fire without getting hurt. The king made Prahalad sit on Holika's lap in the fire. The king thought the fire would hurt Prahalad, but not Holika. But when they sat in the fire, a magical thing happened. The fire did not hurt Prahalad at all. Instead, Holika disappeared in the fire. Because Prahalad was such a nice boy, the evil king and his sister could not hurt him at all. We celebrate Holi to show that good always wins over evil. A long time ago, people celebrated Holi by burning a bonfire. They put burnt wood or ash on their foreheads. Later on, they started using colored powder instead of ash to make it more fun. So, the kids walk into Amea's house. They notice beautiful flowers all around. Holi is celebrated during the spring season. This is when many flowers bloom, Amea explains. Next, Amea gives them some white clothes. Holi is played with bright colors. So the whiter your clothes are, the more colors you can get on them. Maya and Neil looked worried. But we didn't bring any colors to play Holi with, Maya says. Don't worry, we are going to the market right now. We will buy lots of holy colors, Amea says. And there she is holding up the white clothes. So there they are in the market. Indian markets are always wild and colorful, even if it's not holy. Maya and Neil have never seen a more colorful market. They see heaps of colored powder, red, blue, pink, green, yellow, purple. 
This colored powder is called gulal. We put it on each other's face, Amea explains. Neil picks up something that looks like a water gun. There he is holding it in his hand. What is that? What are those, Didi? He asks. Oh, this is a pichkari. You fill it with colored water and spray it on each other, Amea ex uh, replies. We also fill balloons with water and throw them at each other, Amea says. Like these? Maya asks. She's holding balloons there. Yeah, like those, Amea smiles. The kids clap their hands and laugh. Just think of all the fun. And so now it's evening time. In the evening, neighbors light a bonfire. It burns brightly. The kids join everyone in the neighborhood. What are they doing, Didi? Neil asks. Today is the night before Holi. We call today Choti Holi or Mini Holi. Remember how Holika disappeared in the fire? This fire is a symbol of that story. So we call the burning of the bonfire Holika Dahan. The next morning, the kids wake up very excited. Today is Holi. So there they are, it's all this colored water that's in the bathtub. They're filling it up in buckets too. They start preparing for the day. Amea says, let's bring our pichkaris and water balloons in the bathroom. Then we won't spill any color in the house. Amea mixes the colored powder in the big buckets. The kids then fill up the water balloons and pichkaris with the colored water. They are now ready for holi. There they go. So there, that's how it looks like when they're outside. There's music playing, there's lots of fun, neighbors, everyone is outside. They put on their white holy clothes and step outside. Maya and Neil don't know the other kids. So the four of them play holy with each other. That's very important. Um, and that's a good thing that they pointed out in this book, that you should only play holy with people that you know. And don't throw things at people that you don't know, because you don't know if they want to play. They splash red, yellow, blue, pink, green, and purple colors on each other. Splash! Suddenly, someone dumps a bucket full of colored water on Neil's head and shouts, Holy hey, today is holy. Maya and Amea laugh till their sides hurt. Look at that. So slowly it looks like everyone is getting to know each other, even though these two are new in the neighborhood. Everyone is your friend on the day of holy, Amea says. So let's play with all the other kids. Maya, Neil, and even Chintu join all the kids, spraying water and saying, Holy hey! Soon, a man with a dhol, an Indian drum, shows up. Everyone sings and dances with the drums. They leap and shout and laugh. So now everyone's all washed up and uh, they, they're finished playing. The kids play holy all afternoon. Then they go home and scrub, scrub, scrub off the colors. Chintu scrubs, scrubs, scrubs too. Finally, Amea pulls out a giant book and reads to them about the festival. Different places in India celebrate holy in their own special ways, she says. And the book says, holy around India. A holy around India. There we go. In the city of Ahmedabad, the state of Gujarat, they hang a buttermilk pot high up in the air. Boys climb on top of each other to reach it while girls playfully throw colored water on them. The boy who reaches the top and breaks the pot is declared the holy king. In the state of Manipur, they do a special dance called Tabal Chongba. This means moonlight dance. People hold hands and dance in big circles.
In the state of Punjab, they celebrate with an event called Hola Mohalla to show how strong they are. They stand on running horses whoa, or spin massive rings while balancing on sticks. Look at that. And the map also shows that Punjab is right up there, that little red area in the map. After the story time, the children change into beautiful Indian clothes. Amea takes Neil and Maya to the kitchen for some snacks and drinks. Didi, what is this white drink? Maya asks. This is called Thandain. Think of it as an Indian milkshake. People drink it on the day of Holi. The kids take a long sip. It is sweet, milky, and cold. Yum! Chintu squeaks. So there she's holding snacks and they're drinking the tande over there. Then Neil spots half moon shaped snacks. This looks yummy too. What is it Didi? These are called gujia. They are crunchy sweet dumplings. This is another famous holy snack of India. The kids munch on a plate full of gujia. They wash them, them down with more tande. And now it's time for holy milan. This is when neighbors visit each other's home and exchange plates full of sweets, Amea says. So she's got all of that ready. They take a plate full of gujia to their neighbor's house. She greets them with a big smile and warm hugs. She invites them in and offers more snacks and tande. By this time, it's the evening. There they are at their neighbor's home. Do you see the giant, beautiful moon today, kids? The neighbor asks. The moonlight fills up the whole room. Holi is always celebrated on a full moon day, when the moon is biggest and roundest, she explains. And then they step out to go see the moon. The kids lean over the balcony to take a better look at the moon. It is almost like the moon is celebrating Holi along with them. We had so much fun today. Holi is one of our favorite festivals now, Neil says. We can't wait for our next adventure. We wonder where that will be. We hope you can join us then, Maya, Neil, and Chintu say. Until then, namaste. The end. We hope you had a lot of fun today on Indian Story Read Along, and I'm so glad that you learned a lot about Holi today. I learned actually a lot too. I didn't know before that it was celebrated only on a full moon day. So if you like this story, think about subscribing to this channel. We'll see you again next time.